Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 18 of our slow and immersive playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4's Empire of Japan. We're in July 1944. We have... We have, I want to say, we've beaten China, barely. I mean, they did capitulate. Have a Soviet Union declared war on us, and we're now in a defensive war. The United States has declared neutrality, but has a recently guaranteed Dutch East Indies or seems to have warned everyone that they're in their sphere of influence. The German Reich, having won all of Poland, had all of Europe in its palm, collapsed after the invasion of the United Kingdom. The Bourbon France, fascist France, tied to later fight back as well, but was defeated by the United Kingdom, released all its colonies, and yeah, now sits democratic. Germany continues to, I think it already did invade Poland once, Poland then, or maybe Poland invaded them, but basically it took a chunk out of it. It is now invading Norway for unknown reasons, but it's all. And nationalist Spain stands strong as a fascist power as we helped it in to win its, uh, to win its uh, civil war. We are currently in a faction with our puppets, Menkur and Manchuko, and Iran has also joined our regime. Here we go. Let's go ahead and unpause. We are holding off the Russians in Manchuria. Our naval invasion of Vladivostok is almost ready. Holding the line here, building up supply hubs, ready for a push. Uh, which will come in a bit. We're just finishing up last radar on the homeland for a level 6 radar. Just make sure no one, because the Soviets were bombing bombing our homeland. I will sort that out. Come on. Get ready, please. Because the Russians are pushing. They're pushing, but they're completely out of supply. And once we get Vladivostok from them... God help them. Okay, we've pushed through. Nice. We actually managed to push through... Uh, into here, into this central China. Okay, I feel like another supply hub is in order here. Well, we need supply hubs like we need air. Although, okay, we will build a supply hub here. What we really want is our defensive line well supplied. That is what we really want. We want to close the pocket on Shanxi and just mop this up and release all of these divisions. That's actually what we really want. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, 24, 11 divisions. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You, sir. Hang on. Um, I just want to make sure... Oh, yes, this, these are our 11 divisions. And this is the rest of the army. Okay, okay. Division spread across here. Okay. Enemy is stronger still. How do we get rid of Shanxi? It's just this pocket that will hold up in these mountains. Okay. Okay, let's just wait a little bit. Take this last little pocket. Are we taking it? Yeah, we are taking it. That's good. And then we just overrun these guys. We need to take this province, hills. This is a desert. Christ. Why are we even here? Yeah. Good question, boys. Good question. It's not really the part of China we really need. In nine more days. Let's see. Okay. Can we perhaps... This is all like along a river. Oh, we actually managed to make a beachhead sort of thing here. Yeah, we are in like okay, two divisions a line. So I feel like what we can do actually is perhaps just do this. Actually, do a bit of this. 
and just scooch a couple of tiles. The Democratic Party AP has been put in power in Kingdom of Norway. Nordic Defense Council was liberated. Kingdom of Norway has capitulated. The German Republic. The German forces, along with a number of independent Norwegian Democratic supporters, have forced Johan Nigerswold and his government into exile as a new government has been established to rule the Kingdom of Norway in cooperation with the German Republic. Konrad Adenauer has remarked that this mutual agreement will bring a new age of prosperity and cooperation to the Kingdom of Norway. Johan Nigerswold responded by stating that even in exile, he shall continue to fight for the Kingdom of Norway and support all resistance efforts in his homeland. Uncertain times. Certain times indeed. Okay, but we want to get Shanxi. In order to get Shanxi, Okay, control 78 of victory points. It only has three victory points. I mean, what 78%? They have... Literally, there is nothing else. All that matters... <laughs> all that matters is picking up all of these guys. Hang on, you, sir. Do you have a planning bonus? Yes, you do. So your offensive is up to here. You, sir... Offensive. It's kind of like so. So let's get prepared. And we're going to get on with it. I'm going to ruin Shanzi's day. This should be a massive pocket. We need to create a pocket though first. And in order to create a pocket, we need this to be in supply. But it will take forever to get you guys properly supplied, if I'm honest. Like, literally forever. And once we build that supply hub, is that really, like, necessary? We're gonna have to make do. Alright, defending without supplies is much easier than attacking. An attack will come from here, and here we're in supply. So let's... These all get into position. Unassigned divisions. You, sir... Join the Minkuko. Oof. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? We are being attacked. And they're winning as well. Okay. Okay, we are. One more day. We'll be here. Mm. Okay, this is our elite forces. It's alright. Okay, let's step back. We can step back. Hang on, except we cannot step back here. What's going on? Stop. Hold, 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 hold. Why is this front line not connected with, like, the rest of us? Right, perhaps, actually, actually, not you. You stay here, but... You, sir. Yeah, the, the yellow man, you need to... Nah, hang on. That's what you should be doing. Let's get the... Uh, oh, we don't actually have that much command power. Should be a bit careful, to be honest. Alright, mate. Some divisions are sent to this invasion have not reached the starting position yet. Okay, there we are. Okay, we are landing. Haruchike Harukate wounded. Tomoyuki. Aha. Fine, it's not too bad. Sacrifice we're willing to make. There we go. Okay, let's go. Let's land. Brussels Treaty signed. Dismissed that by accident. Okay, we're doing an attack. Okay, nothing stands in the way of Imperial Marine Corps. Let's go. 
12th of August, 1944. Someone's about to have a really bad day. There we are. That's it. Ten divisions. Let's go. Create a pocket here as quickly as we can. And frankly, it's practically all of you, except one of you stays, and then another one of you stays, and I would even say three of you stay. The rest, the fall of Vladivostok, the largest city in the Russian Far East and home to the Soviet Pacific Fleet, has been stormed by Japanese troops. Its strategic position at the far end of the Trans Siberian Railway makes its loss all the more detrimental to the Soviet war effort in Asia. Many of the city's inhabitants still remember the Japanese occupation that lasted for several years during the Russian Civil War. This time, some fear they may never leave. Or oh, the Emperor. We really need is an airfield as well. That would be very nice. Okay, that's it. Marine Corps. Um, Imperial Marines do not mess about. Go. Oh, let's get in here. Let's act fast, guys. Go, 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 go. Ooh. One of you can stay here. Yeah, one can go there. Come on. Let's get in here and close this pocket. There we are. How do you like them apples now, huh? No, it's just, just finish, finish. Mop up these. Yeah, let's... Okay, quickly advance along the railway line to Habarovsk. Let's go, Marines. Uh, that's four divisions and another five divisions done. Boom. Okay, Imperial Marines. I don't know, that's all. Everyone to Habarovsk. Establish establish a supply lines in Habarovs and it's and dig in along this line. That's what we need to do. We have ten divisions of Marine Corps, that's their job. That is exactly their job right now. Oh, hang on. What is this? Tokyo Arsenal. This is our small arms. Okay, we've picked everything. Improved rifle recoil. Vehicle mounted capabilities. Infantry equipment breakthrough plus 6%. Please. Where are we with the updates, guys? Oh, I'm sure we need more than 34. Come on, let's get these get the research done. Oh, come on, come on, Marines. Okay, one. We have nothing to really guard against, right? So let's just kind of... Go ahead and just do this. Keep going. I'm gonna leave like a couple of divisions in the back. Engine four researched. Great. Let's go to our armor. To be honest, I feel like we need to go to medium. And there isn't really any more light tanks. Yeah, I think it's a bit a bit late for that. But I mean, we still have to. Oh no 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 no! Actually, actually. Okay, fine. With eight, eleven days, we need anti-tank guns for our for our uh, infantry. That's what we need urgently. There is no way we're winning a war against the Russians with no anti-tank guns. Oh, come on, come on now! Oh my God, this is like the wow, wow, wow. Okay, guys. 
it's all over. Whoa, the Marine Corps, Christ, I don't even know what to do. It's so successful. And, okay, you you go back here, one of you, the other guy. Okay, we need one division in each of these. Just, just to hold hold all of this while we repair the railroad and get back in supply. Meanwhile, I mean, if anyone wants to take any initiative, it would be to do this. Okay, military police done. That's good. This is what we need. Anti-tank. Urgently. Urgently need anti-tank. Our armored cars. Get a military police unit. Right. How's our production of armored cars? We need 3,000 more. We have five. We're producing three per day. Three per day, so that's three times three, nine hundred, about a thousand. It's about four years out. We always have plenty of efficiency gains to make here. Yeah, let's get these fuel tanks researched. Oof. Okay. Unread Battle of Sea of Japan. Close air support type. Wait, victory. Well, we killed survivors. Close air support. Where? Wait. Oh, this is the airfield. This is what we need. Base in Vladivostok. Kidding me? Okay, let's re re-establish the supply lines here. Right, fix this railway. Get the supplies rolling. Close this pocket. And then we take this. Oh, it's out of supply. Anything we can do at all? Okay, let's slow this down. Okay, can we send all of our, like, whatever this thing? Stop wasting our fuel. Right, stop wasting our fuel. Right, we don't need anyone anywhere. Oh boy, oh boy, All right, let's not waste navy, where's our navy, 5,000 per day, no, 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 get, repairing, repairing, docked, okay, everyone needs to be docked, guys, we don't have the fuel, we just don't, yeah, navy has zero per day, perfect, that's what we like to see, nice and safe, oof, Okay, wait. Okay, let's go ahead and defeat these guys. I'm not sure how big of a pocket we can actually ma make here. But I think we should at least be able to do this. Right, get these guys into a pocket. You guys are a long way from your supply lines. Okay, I guess we we'll try to do this. Double check, everything is fine here. Okay, you, sir. How about we actually execute on this thing? And you execute on this. Alright, let's try and mop up Shanxi here already. Now it's been enough. Enough messing about Shanxi. What we really need here. Right, hang on, where is our air power? And while we're like making major moves, yeah, at least 200. Alright, let's just make sure we have like all the close air support we can on this. 
because they're uh, fighters. And they're about 300. What is this? I mean, you guys, to be really honest, like, do we really need you here? No, we really don't need you here, if I'm honest with you. So we, so we just... No air security, just move here. Whereas more close air support. Now let's just bomb Shanxi. That's what needs to happen here. Supply. Okay, nice. Okay, I think we fixed the, the railway. No, some railways in the railways remaining two days. Two days and we'll be in supply. One day. Okay. We have everything we need to upgrade our air force. That's good. Better anti-air, 1943. Let's see, we need infantry equipment. Let's do this. Let's go ahead into our production, improved close air support. We actually have 800 in reserves, really? Okay, improved close air support. No, sorry, advanced. Yeah, what we need... We're producing improved. We need... And what we need is advanced small airframe. And we need to design... One engine for range 675. Drop tanks. 25% range. Extra fuel tanks, 1000 range. Air defense minus 2, weight production cost. Self sealing fuel tanks, they need rubber though. They give us air defense and weight. Definitely extra fuel tanks, because we need. Yeah, about 1000 range is good for close air support. In Asia, this is good. We're going to be fighting in. Maybe India, where else we're we gonna fight in like Siberia. This is good. A thousand. Frankly. 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 Hang on. Drop tanks. Okay, wait, extra fuel tanks for sure. What if we actually put drop tanks on here? Is that worth it? Three extra weight. I'm not sure. Let's do a thousand should should do it. Pass weapons, small bomb may, ground attack 8, ground attack 6, ground attack, close air support. Okay, heavy bomb locks give us close air support, naval strike, logistic strike. This small bomb bay gives us port strike, logistic strike. Okay, this one gives agility minus 20, ground attack 8, but it allows us naval strike. If we are on the coast, that's pretty good. It gives us more range for some reason. Heavy bomb racks. Mounting for large bombs under the wings or the fuselage allows the plane to attack ground targets with great effect. So, eight ground attack. Can we put more heavy bomb locks? 16 ground attack. So lots of bombs. Right. Or do we or the alternative is 
Hopefully, you know, like two times heavy machine gun. Air attack, when a logistic strike, ground attack one. Air attack two. Agility minus two. So this is good for logistic strike. It does give us some air attack as well. Or do we just want to keep it small Bombay? Right, and then we can put like... 16 attack while also having a lot of agility. Aichi. Small and care planes. I feel like this is the superior designer to the Mitsubishi because it applies to all airplanes, so you will progress faster. And now we have now we have 1,200 range. This is good. This is this is what I like to see. Electronics, air air radar, interception, air ground radars. We don't strategic bombing, naval strike, port strike. No, we don't need that. Radio navigation, strategic bombing. Bomb sites, strategic bombing, air, air. Okay, don't need any radars, don't need any electronics. Any air defense we need? Heavy machine gun defense turret. That's just extra. Production cost two gives us air defense, air attack. Now we just need speed and bombs. Our fighters will maintain air superiority. We need 16 ground attack. To be honest, it's the same as our current close air support. So this thing just gives us a lot of range and makes it a lot more survivable. Bomb locks. Ground attack. And allows us to do naval strike as opposed to a port strike. Hmm. Oh, that's small bombs. Hang on, sorry. Do heavy, that gives us eight. So we still get 16, it's just our agility is now only 16. 16 ground attack, but our agility goes down to 16. But at least we can do naval strikes and logistic strikes. And this is. Yeah, I think this is good. This is good for close air support. Not expensive. We can make lots of these. And fast. Kai 66. Minus 20 agility. We'll get some bonuses to agility, right? Defense special modules. Dive brakes. Naval strike, port strike. Air defense, naval targeting. Wait, two. We actually could get dive breaks. We reduce our agility to 15 when we're on mission. But naval targeting becomes better since naval targeting is 11, naval attack 7. Right, if we do need to, that's basically to bomb planes that come close to our waters, right? But is this what this is for? Or do we just... Or do we just give it a small bomb bay to make it massive range, right? So right now on our ground support and ground support mission we have agility of 15 right and if we change it to small base none of this we double our agility all right so we get away how agile plan agility affects how easy it is to hit another plane and how easy it can avoid being hit right, air defense 10 We can increase it by 20%, give it some air attack. 
Reduce its speed. Heavy machine gun turret. We could do this, sure. 28 agility, give it more air defense. Port strike, logistics strike. 34 to produce. I think that's good. 1200 for close air support. That's kind of what we need. Two small bomb base. Still really agile, even on ground missions. Double the agility of heavy bombs for the same ground attack. We'll lose the naval strike mission. I think that's fine. Kai 66. Alright. We need this. A heavy machine gun in, in a rotating turret allows the defender to fight back against the fighter armed with similar weapons with some hope of success. And defense. We remove it, we'll lose 20% air defense. Let's keep it, let's put it there. We're now, we should be facing more fighters now. Okay, so we got a bunch of bombs. I mean, can we actually, like, be greedy? No, we can't. No, fine. Still, same ground attack though, 16. Yeah, so it's just the range improvement like more than double what we have now right i mean i can't remember what was our thing called now i think it's b6n kai 51 kai 51 right down range is 800 so plus 50 percent range yeah, okay let's go ahead advanced close air support frame built by aichi okay we need five these, if we can get them. Okay, Kai 66. Pick like a better. Pick a better picture. So like this one is. Right. Okay, advanced close air support. Let's put five on that. Improved carrier naval. This, this, this. Where's our fighters? This is the zero. This is all. This is all carrier based aviation. We don't even have a fighter in production. Interesting. Because I think we yeah, I think we built a ton now. So let's build advanced small airframe. Four sized engine. Kai 84 Hayati. Fighter weapons. Heavy machine gun. Air attack 6. Air attack 20. That's what we want. We want air attack 20. Two auto cannons. Two automatic cannons give a plane a fearsome forward firing. Armored against air and soft ground targets at a considerable cost in weight and agility. Yeah, we still have 60 agility. Nothing to worry about. Two heavy machine guns. Oh, sorry, no, let's give it... F so we have two cannons. And this is another 12 air attack. Alright, that's 60 agility and 33 air attack. Range. Extra fuel tanks, 1000 kilometer range. What else? Electronics. Air, air. Okay, wait. Air, air, radar 2. Night went on interception. Night penalty minus 40. Electronics, radio navigation, strategic bombing, bomb sites, air ground, sub detection, strategic. Now, this is what we need for our fighters, right? It's an advanced frame, air air radar. 
Interception. We do get bombed. We need this. Special modules. Self-sealing fuel tanks. Okay, we need rubber for this. It does make it quite a bit better though. Okay, we have 33 air attack, 1000 kilometer range. Air defense, air attack, agility, speed. Kai 84 Hayati. Let's put Mitsubishi on it, since we have it. Okay, okay. Hayati, come on. Put this guy. Okay, so we'll put another five factories into this. We have 1,200 of those, and we should upgrade those. Now, carrier-based aircraft. Okay, advanced carrier airframe. Right now, we have the zero, right? And I don't know, I saw you guys in the comments. There's one person very helpful. Tell me that zero is definitely worth it and it's great. It does win if it comes early. Otherwise, I guess it's two cannons. Good that it gave me this idea for range. But I think its time is over. So we have the improved carrier. I'm oh, sorry. Advanced, advanced. Okay, now we start with the carrier's CAS. Oh, sorry, this is the fighter, right? A6M0 Sen. Yoko. Yokosuka. Carrier fighter. Aichi. Mm hmm. Okay, sorry, so this is the fighter, let's do advanced carrier frame. And we give it, I mean, to be honest, it's the same, but two cannon twos, fighter weapons, four heavy machine guns, one four tier four engine, right? We have to give it extra fuel tanks for 1000 range. And we give it special module self-sealing fuel tanks. So it's become the same as our same as our ground fighter really, right? Maybe we upgrade these cannons one soon. Right, but that's what it is, air superiority and interception. I we need air air radar. And an interception. Fifty agility. Right. Naval aircraft designer, high agility fighters. Let's keep this one advanced carrier air from A7 Repo. Right. Except it's for carriers. Advanced airframe for carriers. Okay. Put us a three on each. For our carrier airplanes improved close air support. So this is advanced carrier airframe for close air support. Right, so this would be tier four engine, extra fuel tanks. I would say self sealing fuel tanks. Give it that air defense. Because they will be shot at by the enemy ships. And then it's... What gives us the best... I guess it's the heavy, right? Because this one gives naval strike. That's what we need here. 
Naval strike and we need dive breaks. Agility becomes like 7. Agility becomes 35. Naval attack 4. And this is not great, but what are you going to do? Agility minus 20. So we get ground attack 8. Well, naval attack 4. With one heavy bombs. Yeah, two bomb locks would give us the same result. Uh, but we need, yeah, just bombs. Right, it needs to be agile. Hard to hit. It's really, it's really about the naval strikes. Good targeting. Air defense, naval targeting. How likely the plane is to hit a ship? 11. How much damage? 4. Ability to get away. Right. It's got the air defense, air attack. 1100 range. I guess that's what we have. Our fighters should be able to, yeah, same range as well. So that's good. Yokosuka, naval aircraft designer. Advanced carrier. Uh, air support. Let's make it. Alright, and now improved bomber, improved carrier naval, naval bomber, uh, advanced carrier airframe, there we are, one engine, tier 4, of course we want extra fuel tanks, it's self-sealing fuel tanks. And we want electronics, bomb sites, radio navigation, air ground. Yeah, there we go. Surface detection, sub detection, strategic bombing, night panels. With a high resolution than previous models, this radar sets set allows precision bombardment even through cloud cover. Surface detection, sub detection, strategic bombing, night penalty. Maybe we should have put that on our close air support as well. All right, medium torpedo mountings. Naval attack, naval targeting. Yeah, pretty much what we need. Suka here. Special. All right, we have defense, we have decent agility. Reliability. Alright. Range, speed, all good. Alright, nothing else we need. Do we. That's for logistics strike. Doesn't help. So this one, sub detection, strategic bombing. We're not going to be doing a strategic bombing. Surface detection, night penalty. Yeah, okay. We do need uh, air ground radar for sure for our bombers. Yeah. Yeah. This thing looks like it's carrying a torpedo. Yeah, advanced carrier naval, advanced carrier close air support with. Have a think about this. Did we need dive breaks as opposed to radar? Special features. Mm. Have self sealing. Extra. Fine, yeah. Well, I guess it's what's specialized. This one has this for better targeting. Right, and heavy bombs. And our fighter has, yeah, a different radar. I mean, everyone has their role, so I guess that's fine. 
What about... What about small... Our land-based close air support. Advanced carrier. Advanced close air support. Advanced close air support. Sure it doesn't need anything? Strategic bombing 6. Doesn't do any strategic night panels. No, we're not going to be doing any air ground. Air, air. Okay, fine. Don't, not needed. And ad just the advanced small airframe. For we have the air, air raid on it. Self-sealing fuel tanks. Right, let's just get these in the right order so I can remember. Uh, electronics. No changes have been made. Okay, well, <laughs> won't actually let me just find switch places for these. Just, just for my own tracking. Fine. It has a radar. Everyone has self-sealing fuel tanks and extra fuel tanks. Right. Self sealing. Extra. Yeah. No, actually, extra fuel tanks. Our. Hang on. Our advanced close air support does not have self sealing. Let's, yeah, let's get it in there. Because we have it for everybody. Kai 66A. Advanced naval bomber carrier, closer to carrier airframe. Advanced small basic carrier bomb, naval bomber airframe. Interwar medium. Let's call this. Kai 66. Right, there we are. Right, we are producing Kai 66 with self sealing fuel tanks. Okay, we're gonna need a lot of rubber um, to actually produce these, but uh, that's fine. So let's do these three on each of these. We have five on support equipment, 10 per day. That's 3,600 a year, so that sh should be fine. We need a lot of artillery. We have 10, we're producing 15 per day. So 500 a month. Sounds about right, this is fine. 380 per day, we need to finally get everyone upgraded. Yeah, our air force is being upgraded, five trucks. Okay, we need kind of more for our trucks. We need. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, so maybe 15 military factories is what we need. 15 extra military factories. Uh, advanced small airframe. Most urgently, though, we need a few here. Hmm. Let's have a think. Construction-wise, okay, we're finishing these two. That will be 26th of December, so end of 1944. We'll be ready. We're ready here. Oof. Sorry, this is shang -Chi. I got scared. I thought it was here. But the Soviets are marching through. So we'll be ready here. We should be finishing up with shang -Chi soon, I hope. Okay, let's think about this. We have 15, 15. We have 45 of these. Do we really need that many? Or can we convert? 
Then we convert civilian to military factories. Or do we just build new ones? Hang on. Military factories. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we'll have ten in here. All the repairs, and then we build ten more of those. All right, let's get back to business. Okay, our, all of our marines are in, should be in supply. One more day. I'm going to maybe take over a bit of this. Modernization, okay, strategic bomber effort. Okay. No supply connection from the capital. What do you mean? It is connected. It is connected. Don't lie to me. Okay. Kaiser strike. Uh, what is this? Oof, hang on. Why are you sailing about? Okay. Let's burn five years of fuel within like two days just to move from one homeland island to another. Okay, now we're in supply. Perfect. Frankly, what, what really needs to happen is that you, sir, need to just get over here. Well, frankly, I mean, let let them come round. Like, I mean, what are they going to really get out of it? to create a pocket here. Let's go ahead and push. force for them either. That's good. Another six, seven, eight, twelve Soviet divisions encircled. Oof. Okay, 
Okay, let's go ahead and mop this up. Now that's what you get for overextending. We're gonna hold this. They're still out of supply. We'll hold the northern part here. Hold Habarovsk. Okay, Shanxi is slowly falling. Okay, we got Tian. Like, what other, what other victory points do they have? Shanxi controls 24% of victory points. We capitulate when it has 20 or less. I mean, what do you mean? What, 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 what? Please point me to the victory point they're holding. So everybody, just pile in here. And delete, delete this nonsense. This, this nonsense from my eyes. Commonwealth of Socialist Republic declared war on the German Republic. Okay. Let's get chunk C to capitulate. Doctrines available. Air doctrine. Tactical bombers, strategic bombing, air superiority plus two percent. Air crew surveys minus fifteen. Ah. Ground support. The ground support fully integrating our tactical bomber force with ground-based observers both increases their accuracy and allows them to directly support our ground forces in combat. Ground. Close air support. There we go. Shanxi equipment seized. Finally. Shanxi has capitulated. Hmm. Okay. Mop, mop this up. We need to... Uh, what really needs to happen is we need to lock them in here and mop all of this up. Well, let's make sure we get in here. There we go. with it. Done. shang is finished. Pause here. Okay. It's a little bit frustrating if I'm honest. More than more than anything. Let's try to get this division cut off. Just sort it out. Okay, let's actually get our man here and say, hey, right, and this should be your front line, right, yeah, because Imperial Marine Corps needs to move on to bigger and better things, so let's Delete these. Put our man here in charge. Right. Um, Marine Corps does not need to deal with this. We'll just mop mop this up and be done with it. Yep. You, sir, also need to do an offensive line up to here. Okay, our Marine 
Franco will mop this up and move on to uh, the Republic of Vietnam, frankly, because we need that rubber. Oh, we need this rubber for sure. And we need this. All of this we need. You, sir. Okay. Okay, what do we have in our focus? Is there anything about Vietnam? Develop Chinese resources. That's what we have. Xuan production of... Oof. Prospect. What are we waiting for? Bypass Philippine strike on southern. Get annex war goal on British Malay and dust each in East Indies. Exploit southern. Hmm, alliance with CM. CM, what do you have? They have rubber as well. And we need to kind of take this over, to be honest. So we need to get back to Guang... Guangzhou and stage a naval invasion here and get right on top of Hanoi on top of all of this and Saigon just land our marines like all over right land them here here land them yeah Hanoi and land them here all along the coastline uh, yeah, maybe land, yeah, land like three next to Hanoi, get this, boom. Yeah, ten divisions should be more than enough. Okay, Marines, let's mop this up. And be done with it. Let's see, supply hubs still under construction. Research has been completed, that's probably the armor. Now infantry, hard attack and piercing. Infantry, frankly, versus the Russians. They need all the help they all the help they can get. We'll get other. Yeah. Okay, you, sir. We need to get to Cheetah. Although, actually, we are connected to it. If we get to it and we get this railway, that's it. The Far East is ours. The Russians are just... To say that they're out of supply, they don't have a, a drop of water to drink. They have nothing. Okay. This sir says, he claims he can actually do it. Mm. Let's make sure our defenses are strong here first, and then we'll think about it. Okay. We do have 1.83 million manpower. Mm. We need is we need to strengthen our Marine Corps. We need to strengthen our armored arm, armored forces and our Marine Corps amphibious assault. Not that Vietnam is going to pose much of a threat. Ooh, what we also need is to land here and get our oil back. Yeah, we need this 18 oil. Like we need air, frankly. Ooh, actually, look at this. Look what I found. Perhaps the Marine Corps will stay here a tad longer. No, no, Marine Corps can't stay. Marine Corps will go there, but we need to secure the Far East. That means fighting through to this supply hub, actually. That's what we need to do. Yeah, we need to get up to here. Oh, perhaps the Marine Corps will have to stay and just get over here, get this supply hub, secure this steel and the resources here. Okay, guys, but we are just uh, just over an hour, so I'll make a cut here. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you are enjoying it. We seem to be back, back on top of it. So uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next episode. Bye.